Hey dating masses, Michael here with idateadvice.com. Today's topic, the truth about dating your opposite. We've all heard the old saying that opposites attract when it comes to relationships. But have you ever stopped to think about how it might not necessarily be true? Everyone's experience in dating is different. Some people will tell you that absolutely, opposites definitely do attract and that if your significant other and you are too similar, it'll never work out. But let's speak for a moment about what it really means to be an opposite and how sharing similarities might work better in your favor in healthy relationships. People who have nothing or very little in common tend to be considered opposites one another. Frequently, the basis for these relationships tend to be more shallow and rooted in intimacy or sexuality alone or similar circles of friends, you know, who they hang out with or other superficial characteristics which are not necessarily part of the individual themselves in either one of them. I know many couples that share little more in common than the fact that they are actually just in that relationship together meaning they have greatly different tastes in music, movies, hobbies, and also tend to have differing views politically as well as religious. In my experience, couples who consider themselves opposite hardly ever last. It's the couples which share more in common who end up staying together and enjoy happy relationships rather than those who are considered opposites. Think of it this way. The more you share in common with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, the more time you'll want to share experiencing those things that you like doing together. Things like similar tastes in music, movies, art, and culture in general means more time spent bonding, which strengthens the relationship over time. Now, we all know the couples who can't spend time together doing the things that they love most. Maybe the girl in the relationship really is into shopping, but the guy just isn't, so they miss out on all that time spent together. Or maybe the guy loves watching sports, but the girl just can't stand it, so they're forced to spend those periods of time apart. Or they struggle through it together, which is also not healthy. There are endless examples of these types of relationships. But think to the few people you know who are happy in long-lasting, healthy relationships. I'm willing to bet that those people share much more in common. I'm also willing to bet that they are anything but opposites. Think about that next time you're told that opposites attract. All right, dating masses, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to get a new dating advice video each and every week. We welcome your questions and comments, and as always, we reply absolutely free. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.